Hello once again everyone, it is Jello here and last week we changed the thermal paste on my laptop which is the Dell Inspiron 7559 with the Thermal Grizzly Cryonaut. But today we are going to take it a step further by using the Thermal Grizzly Conductonaut. And because it is liquid and a combination of different metals, the transfer of heat would be much more efficient. However, there is a risk involved. Unlike other common thermal compounds, this one is electrically conductive, which means that if any liquid metal would seep out, it could short the components inside our laptop, which would render it useless. But we are going to do it anyway, so let's get to it. So temperatures this time had an improvement. However, there was one core that was running hotter compared to the others. It may have something to do with the way I applied the liquid metal or the way I applied or I mounted the heatsink. But anyway, I played a little bit of GTA 5 and the temperatures were, were in check. I mean, I, I'm pretty much satisfied with the results. I may do a reapplication but I'll do it off camera. So should you apply liquid metal? If you want the best temperatures, then yes. But remember, there are risks involved. If you're not confident with applying liquid metal, then a non-electrically conductive thermal paste is more than enough or should be enough. If your temperatures would reach in the high 80s or the low 90s, then you probably should change the thermal paste of your laptop. Like this video if you like it, subscribe if you haven't yet so you won't miss any updates. I upload video content every single week. And that is it for today and I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next video.